This short course is really important because it, it brings together a, a really diverse range of people to talk about really tough issues uh, that concern genocide, uh, mass atrocities and various responses to mass atrocity. And so I think the course is important because people are able to learn from experts who come and present their views on these particular issues, but they're also able to learn from each other. And I think one of the things that happened this year that was particularly important was that many of the participants not only came from Rwanda, but they came from the, the entire region. So we had Ugandan participants, Congolese participants, many from Kenya. They were able to bring a comparative perspective. Uh, first of all, these summer course have produced a platform for discussions, which is needed uh, for people to find the right solutions. I think there were a lot of things that were in interesting. Like firstly, the participants. It's very nice to get in touch with other Rwandan or maybe even Kenyan and uh, people from uh, Uganda. Well, um, my impression about the course is that I see it as an intersection of theory and practice, history and the present. And I find it very useful in teasing out some of the contemporary issues, the responses and challenges of dealing with situations of genocide and mass atrocities. What I find interesting is to have, uh, to have that kind of course as it was. Um, a short course on uh, genocide related issues and effort at addressing issues ar arising from the genocide. So uh, focusing on that is one of the um, comparative advantage of that summer course delivered by, run by uh, Aegis uh, Trust Rwanda. Many courses that exist um, touch on a range of issues which can be good to broaden the mind, but at the same time it has the disadvantage of uh, not deepening. So, Edges uh, Trust Rwanda short course is bringing that. I have very much appreciated it, the way topics were selected. Uh, if you look at, at them, there is a logical sequence and uh, complementarity. I'm very sure people are benefiting this uh, summer course. We have a clear picture of transitional justice and reconstruction period in, in Rwanda. I think I would have benefited even more if, um, if they would have told about how they approach the field they're working at or like more insights of their individual um, thoughts. And I think that it should be a course that shouldn't be only offered here. If there could be maybe um, satellite courses, online uh, program, a short program or one week or something like that, I think there should also be aspects of refresher courses of the same because I know after some time uh, we might generate a new context, a new, new understanding and reflecting again would be very important. I think continuing them and coupling them tightly with uh, debate about social theories and concept and methodology would be really beneficial for our students and our staff as well. So this uh, summer course is making known our history and uh, more specifically the history of genocide, but also efforts to deal with genocide uh, consequences and the impact. I think this course could bring in a really diverse array of, of people, uh, both here in Rwanda and in the region. I think this year we focused mainly on university lecturers, uh, teachers, trainers, people who could take the knowledge of this course back into their own teaching environments. I think if we do the course again, which we almost certainly will, given how successful this one has been, we would also want to bring in our policy makers, we would want to bring in our various our practitioners, and I think we would want to extend into the wider region. Because again, I think uh, we want to see policy influenced by the issues that we've been talking about, but we also want to bring in that comparative perspective from right across the region. This course have helped actually those people to sit down together and share those experiences and share their opinions and come up with something very tangible that people should learn from.
We believe that learning from the mistakes of the past, learning how we recover from them, uh, and making sure that we don't make those mistakes, mistakes again in the future is absolutely essential. And the work of the Aegis Trust here in Rwanda contributes enormously to doing that. Uh, and its work in collaboration with the government of Rwanda and the Rwandan people is really uh, allowing people to explore how to avoid the tragedies of the past. And secondly, to uh, add extra impetus to the national healing process that is underway here in Rwanda. And I think it's met those two things admirably. And just speaking to some of the course participants today, I've been really struck by how open, honest and positive the conversation has been. I think Aegis Trust is one of the most uh, impressive uh, and inspiring partners that the UK works with in Rwanda. Um, I met uh, the Aegis team very early on when I first arrived uh, and since that day forwards I've been really impressed by the work they do. Um, I think you have a fantastic range of programmes, fantastic range of staff as well uh, and I think that uh, wherever I work in the future Aegis's work here in Rwanda will always inspire me. Thank you.